All right, so this is a little bit of a prequel, I guess you could say, to the rest of the video. Uh, it is a few days before I'm actually walking the girl and she deserves some outdoors time after a lot of the rain the last few days. So just making sure she gets some much needed outdoor time. This is all going to be like prep for the trip and whatnot. And you guys will see where I'm heading out. Um, for you guys, it'll be a couple seconds. For me, it'll be a few days. <laughs> this will be a fun time, I think. We'll see how it goes. There's a lot of things I am excited about and ready to try. Definitely going to enjoy the food, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I will see you guys in the next clip, whatever that be. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. It is officially go day. I am leaving today, and as you can see over there, my suitcase is packed. You might notice it's actually a little bit bigger, and the reason for that is usually when we go to the we bring a lot of stuff back to give to family or friends or whoever we're meeting over there. And so since I'm meeting them over there, they just asked me to put it into my suitcase. But the thing is, as you guys may or may not remember from my previous travel things, the new suitcase that I do have doesn't fit nearly as much as I thought it would, mostly because I'm pretty used to a fairly bigger space in my suitcase so yeah so i'm gonna be checking that yeah i'm gonna be checking that in and you know me i try not to check in suitcases but i think it's gonna be a little bit different now i meant to make this intro or this video or whatever a little bit earlier but I've been busy <laughs> i could have just faked you know getting ready waking up doing all that but i didn't mostly because I've already been working. So the plan for today is I'm going to be heading out from my apartment at around 5 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. We'll see. I'm trying to get to the airport by 7.30ish. You know, New York City public transportation. So many things can go wrong, but my flight is at 10. So I just need to get to the airport by whatever. This will be a very interesting experience because I'll be taking Etihad, which is the first time I've flown with them. And the thing is, I have no idea how they're going to be. I tried looking up reviews and I'm not going to lie, it's a little scary. Uh, so we'll see if the reviews hold water or if it's all blown out of proportion because we all know the internet has more negative things than positive things when it comes to reviews of businesses. So we'll see. And you'll see that in a separate video from all of the travel of today, travel day one and two, I guess. This is probably gonna be split because I have a 29 hour whole thing to get to and we'll see how that goes because ugh, it's gonna be a long time. The first part is getting to the airport. We're going to do what we can and we'll see from there. <sighs> I don't know. All right, I am actually gonna keep working because I'm still on the clock, but I've already let everyone know that I'm leaving at five. Should be no worries there. I can leave my laptop here. Don't have to worry about work while I'm out. And if they really need me, I guess they can just call me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go back to work. I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm actually heading out, which is in about three-ish hours. So we'll see you then, and yeah. I haven't done this in a while. I totally forgot to take a video of me heading to the train station, but I'm here now. Um, with my really big suitcase. I really don't like traveling with a big check-in luggage, to be honest, but you know, every so often, you have to. So what's, what's going on over there? Can you see that? Weird. I don't know. Anyways, 
I got here a little early. I'm about 10 minutes too early. But I figured I might as well just stay here and ready to go by the time they think it gets here. I really don't want to deal with possibly missing the train because I can't lift this thing. The game plan is I might just stand on the way to the city and all that because this luggage I don't think it's fitting up top on the rails and I don't think it's going to be fitting in between the seats so I'm just going to keep it as is. It's a little big. We'll see. We got some time to kill uh, and yeah I will see you guys probably not even in the city. I'm going to start taking a video again at Jamaica, mostly because the transfer between here and the next train I need to get to is a little tight, so I'm probably going to be speed walking rushing that way. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, before we continue with the rest of this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor and actually the entire trip series sponsor. You'll definitely see them more on this channel, so I hope you guys decide to check them out. Genie's Cozy Corner, a crocheting business actually started by my sister Justine to help bring you amazing handcrafted items in a reasonable time and at a reasonable price. This business is named after our late mom and is one of the ways we hope we can honor her memory. If you want to find out more about existing designs or see if any new ones have popped up, please check out Genie's Cozy Corner on Etsy and reach out. Make sure to follow the shop, browse the items, and maybe contact the shop owner. Make sure to let Justine know that you were sent there by this channel. Thank you Genie's Cozy Corner for sponsoring this portion of the video. Speaking of which, let's get back to it and see what happens next. All right, I am finally here at JFK. It took roughly about two hours from start to end, and I'm not in the gates yet, but I do have to check in my stuff. So I'm gonna go look for Etihad, which is who I'm flying with today. Um, but I don't see their thing. Alright, I'm gonna go keep looking because I'm confused. Alright, I am checked in. Uh, bag drop was seamless. Person was real nice. Yeah, this is, I guess, the start of my review of everything, I suppose. This is actually kind of wild. This is a lot different than what I was led to believe. From the internet which you know always goes to show don't follow exactly what the internet is but this is just a check-in we still have two flights two really long flights to get through so i'm not exactly sure what's going on tsa pre-check is all the way at the other end so i have to go over there but other than that i'm gonna head out we'll see where that goes uh but so far pleasant experience all right nice i should probably just go in but we'll see all right, I'm gonna head out. I'll probably be staying at the Centurion Lounge today. I could go to a couple, but we'll see. Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna change. I haven't been to the Centurion Lounge too often at this time, so this will be very interesting. All right, where am I? Where am I? That's Sky Priority. There it is. All right, now the line. All right, 
I will put you guys away because I'm gonna go through security. I gotta make sure that everything's fine. And yeah, all right, bye. All right, I got through security literally three hours exactly before my departure time. So what a perfect way to kind of maximize my time here. Hopefully, I should be able to get in. I don't know why I wouldn't, but we'll see just in case. All right, let's go. All right, and just like that, I'm in. Uh, perfect, because I have the exact amount of time, or the most amount of time that I could get. But obviously, it's departure time, not boarding time. My boarding time is at 9.55, so we'll see. I'm actually headed down stairs. I'm gonna go get some food and then in a little bit I'm gonna go check out their speakeasy. For now, let me go get something to eat. So, we'll see how it goes. It should be decent. Alright, let's look at the selections. They've got chicken, the pasta, Not bad, not bad, all right. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna go upstairs, check it out a little bit. Uh, plus I wanna use the restrooms upstairs. Um, but I think overall, we're all good. I do want to check out that speakeasy, but I think I'm going to hang out up here because there's a lot of people downstairs and it was a lot quieter. It's a little more okay to talk up here. <laughs> I feel like there's more people talking in general. So I'm going to hang out here for around an hour or so, charge up a little, and then move on. So let me get some food. All right, so I'm here to get some food, get some nourishment. I've got like a chicken thing. I've got a bread roll, some potatoes and pasta. Pretty good spread. Um, a little different from when they have like lunch or breakfast. So it's kind of interesting. We'll see how it tastes, but overall, success. All right, so the audio should be a little better. I plugged in my mic, as you can see, right there. So if you guys couldn't hear what I was saying, I was saying the pasta was okay, it's decent. It's a little bland, but it's pasta, peas, and cheese, so, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna try the potato. Actually, I think the potatoes are better, honestly. The oh, potatoes are actually really good. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna try is chicken. Well, I guess you guys could say that the bread would be the last thing I try, but it's like a dinner roll, so that's how that's gonna be. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have a long time here. I'm definitely gonna go back for more food. I'm probably gonna go back for more chicken and potatoes. Maybe not so much the pasta. Maybe I'll get a salad also. We'll see, but. Um, two out of the three main things, not bad. Usually when I come to the Centurion Lounge here at JFK, I really only like one out of however many things they offer, but today was not, not bad. I actually like it, so. The weird thing is they got rid of the charging ports or charging outlets here uh, on the high table, so you can't really charge up here anymore. Um, I might have to migrate down a little earlier than expected because I won't be able to charge my things and it's gonna be a really long flight. I wanna have all my devices as charged as possible, so I'll try to find a place downstairs to do that. Um, I'm gonna keep eating. Don't worry about it. You guys aren't gonna miss much. Uh, 
I will take you guys down to the speakeasy uh, when I do go down. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much done here. Uh, the next thing I have to do is get to my flight, and yeah. It's gonna be a long time from now. My boarding's not for another two hours, so. Oh yeah. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. Just gonna continue eating. I didn't want to take videos because there are a lot of people in there. That was awkward. Maybe next time I'm going to post some actual pictures up here of what it looks like. In the meantime, maybe next time. All right, so I just got through security. I'm finally heading out. Uh, first international trip in a while, so I'm excited. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of people in the line. Uh, kind of like the overflow area, waiting for standby seats. I do think that the seat that I reserved is going to get taken, fortunately, but you never know. <laughs> so I'm getting on right now, and I will see you in a bit. I'll see, you, show you guys the seats and everything. Funny enough, the person who checked my bag uh, checked my ticket, so that was nice. All right, uh, we'll see how the seats is. I'll show you guys around, I promise. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I have boarded, I am on here, um, but uh, I am going to wait a little bit on doing the whole review. It's actually kind of cool. But for now, I'm going to wait to see one. I know someone is sitting in this seat over here. But I want to see if someone's going to take the middle seat. So I paid extra for the neighbor free middle seat. But we'll see if that actually comes to fruition because um, judging by the number of people in the terminal and at the gate, I don't know if I'm actually going to have this seat. And it'll be a little bit of a bummer. The seats are a little small, but I guess we'll see moving forward. Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna lie, it's just like a preview of this fight, this whole thing. I'm not seems a little old and outdated, but like, this seems pretty new. And it's like, kind of responsive, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the thing I do not like, there's no any sort of like AC on here, so we'll see how that goes. I just realized, if there's going to be someone on my side, I want to take this video now. Uh, here's the screen. They have this little remote, which is kind of nice, but also because I'm so close already, it doesn't really matter <laughs> that there's this, but I guess if I'm leaning back, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, a standard USB A port, uh, proprietary headphone jack. They've got the plug up here, which is nice, so I don't have to bend down, fumble around down there. It's nice that it's up here. Um, I haven't actually checked the movie selection just yet but so far this is kind of nice i like that they have uno gotta love me some uno um yeah i guess we'll see how this goes oh past lives my dad actually said that the hope oh, it's gone my dad actually said that was pretty good um juices are compliment this is nice okay we'll see how this goes i will put on my mic later on in the flight once uh, things are settled so that I can talk a little quieter um, and also there's not as much noise but for now we're gonna stick with this because uh, I, I really don't know what the situation is gonna be with a person next to me and all that stuff so yeah um, it's pretty standard fare they gave us a pillow which is nice a blanket and some headphones so that we can actually use their headphone jack so that's nice all right we'll see what's going on in a bit 
Alright, so you guys should be hearing me now. Uh, good news. The neighbor free. I couldn't show it really well. I'll show it when I'm like leaving or something. But the neighbor free did work. We don't have a middle person in here, which is nice. Um, is there some extra room in the middle? I can stretch out my feet. I can. Yeah, it's. This will make. This will help make it really comfortable when we're going. Um, now, they just closed the doors, so we should be going up soon, but we'll s uh, but yeah, this is interesting, this thing. Sorry you guys can't really see me, it's a little dark. I could use my light, but I know there are some people who are actually sleeping and whatnot, so I'm going to keep it off. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm getting. Uh, they just served our meal, and yeah, it's actually not bad. Let me show you guys in a second. Okay, so we have a piece of bread. I'm letting it heat up on here. This is warm, so I'm going to that warm up. I'm also going to let that heat up the button. Alright, sorry about that. My my mic fell and uh, they gave came by and gave some more drinks. So back to what I was explaining. So this is actually kind of nice. They gave soda, which is normal. Water, which I think on long haul flights are, is pretty normal. Um, um, some sort of bread roll I feel like is pretty normal. Heating it up on the food is pretty normal, for me at least. Um, something that like my family has always done. A little bit of a travel hack if you want your bread and your butter to be slightly warm. Uh, we have some sort of... I'm sorry. Salad thing. Things like that healthy part, but that should be fine. Uh, I think this is supposed to be dessert. It actually looks really yummy. Um, I hope we could find what these dishes are. Uh, later on. Sorry, hold on. I hope I can find out what these dishes are later on because they do look pretty good. I got the chicken. Um, in economy, they were offering chicken or the vegetarian option. Uh, I went with chicken. I'm sure the vegetarian option is pretty good. I want to draw your attention to this though. When I was moving things around, they gave metal utensils, which is kind of shocking because usually the metal utensils and whatnot are reserved for uh, like business class or whatever, whatever else because it's sort of like classic thing, but they're using metal, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. I will show you guys what's inside in a second. I'm going to eat the bread first though. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me, I forgot to bring my little uh, thing to mic, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick bathroom tour, as you can see. I've got this weird little like pattern. There's a toilet. Honestly not bad. Alright, I gotta go because people want to use the restroom, and I gotta get out.
so I am decided last minute to transit through Abu Dhabi and leave the airport. This could be a huge mistake. I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll see. Um, yeah, I did no research. I just realized I have like seven hours here and I might be able to catch something. I don't know. We landed a little early. 